Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class out of the new SKS Utility Tool Blueprint. This is the final blueprint that you unlock in the Season 3 Battle Pass, uh, and it's a pretty cool, obviously, it's the new weapon. So if you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original blueprint, you guys will see that we basically turn this SKS uh, into a sniper rifle, giving us a really nice boost to, obviously, accuracy and range. We only get a small boost to control here which is a little odd for me considering this is a, uh, a marksman rifle and not a sniper um, and we end up losing a small amount of mobility which obviously isn't that big of a deal considering this is uh, pretty much a sniper rifle uh, weapon build um, but if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that I'm going to share with you in this video we keep the same sniper feel to this SKS but not only do we get that massive boost to accuracy and range but we also get a massive boost to control which I think is a little bit more important here uh, we lose that same amount of mobility but again not enough to really make a difference so overall I'm much better class setup and hopefully you guys are able to dominate with this thing so if you guys take a look at the attachments we're not going to be using a muzzle the barrel that we're using is the 22 inch fss m5966 that is a mouthful essentially it's the last barrel that you unlock with this you're getting damage range below velocity and recoil control and this is an attachment that really gives us a massive boost to all three of those crucial stats with this setup so the accuracy range and control get massive boost here so we're getting the 22 inch fss m5966 barrel the laser that we're using is the TAC laser, so the original blueprint called for this. I thought it was kind of dumb to have it, but overall, it's nice to have those stat boosts. The real reason we're running this TAC laser is to get the pros. Uh, obviously, it's, the laser is not very useful with this thing, but having aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness is always fantastic to have. And because we have an extra attachment slot here, because we really don't need to use it anywhere else, it's really important to boost those pros up so that we're not as slow with this weapon. So mainly, we just wanted to boost mobility However, we still get a nice boost to accuracy and control here. The optic that we're using is the PU scope. So we're leaving this the same as the original blueprint. Essentially, this is the sniper scope for the SKS. Uh, a really nice scope here. Obviously, it's seven times if you guys uh, check out the stats for that. Uh, but this is also going to be another attachment that gives us an insane boost to accuracy and range. We end up losing a lot of control, but you'll see that where our stats are at, it really doesn't make a difference because we've already got a massive control boost anyways. So the PU scope is what we're using for this. We're not going to be running a stock. We're going to leave that off for this class setup. The underbelly that we're using is the tactical foregrip. So this is going to give us more aiming stability, which is important. Uh, focuses on that idle sway. Uh, and because we're trying to turn this thing into a sniper, we want to try to be as still as possible. So we're going to need a massive boost to control here, as well as a small boost to accuracy and range. So again, the tactical foregrip underbarrel. And last but not least, the ammunition that we're running is the 10 round mag. So we're running the 10 round mag because this is meant to be a sniper. We're not going to be just spraying and praying this thing. So we don't need all the extra ammunition. But with this, we're getting a ton of pros, giving us a nice boost to mobility and control. You'll see not only do we get aimed on sight speed, but we get sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and reload quickness. So the 10 round mag here for this specific weapon is a fantastic attachment to use, uh, specifically if you're using it as a sniper. Now, if you're trying to run and gun with this thing, it's probably not not worth it to have that on because you're going to be shooting a lot more shots uh, and tens just not a whole lot but uh, for this specific blueprint class setup it's really good so i'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific class setup if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific sks utility tool class setup please make sure to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see all you guys in the next video